Warning, the outcome of this video will result in you drawing closest to Allah and improving your religion. Viewer discretion is advised. I want to I want to give you a message of hope, my bro Daoud. A message of hope. Alhamdulillah for this mistake. Why? Because without this mistake, you would never have discovered or accepted Islam. You felt so bad and humiliated for your act and for your deed that this directly led you to Islam. What a better ni'mah than this. So anyone who's stuck out there, maybe in a court case, maybe you've done something before Islam or before you were practicing Islam that you're stuck in right now. Just know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you. And the guilt from doing that act has caused you and propelled you to become closer to Allah and a better Muslim. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Uh, thank you for watching. No, me. you have to say Assalamu Alaikum. Remember. Assalamu Alaikum. Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful. Huh? But thank you for watching my video. Bye. Where's the energy? Maybe Haya could do a better job. Go ahead. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I sound very for humble. Humble. <laughs> thank you uh, for watching my video. Humble and thank you. Say bye now. Say bye now. Bye. <laughs> That's my intro. I brought Daoud Kim is a good man. MashaAllah, a lot of you guys sent me the link to his video about him saying I'm sorry and apologizing for his misconduct in the past during his Jahiliya time. And I promise you, anyone who's ever have a past that comes back to haunt them is gonna truly benefit from this video. But before we jump into this video, uh, I have, uh, I think two announcements, inshallah. The first announcement is the, the Uyghur uh, social experiment is happening this weekend, inshallah, so stay tuned. It's going to be called, um, pronounce this word, win an iPhone or a MacBook. It's going to be some prize like that. If that video gets, I'm going to give you a shot over here. If that video gets 10,000 thumbs ups, likes within the first week, I'm going to shave, I'm going to not shave my beard. I'm going to dye my beard red with Hina, just like this, 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 or this brother right here. Um, or if it gets 10,000 views within the first day, I'm going to dye my beard uh, with Hina. I think the 10,000 views in the day might happen. I don't know, but I had to make it a little challenging. The second thing is uh, that I'm making a video about sexual relationships between the husband and the wife. And those, I'm sorry if you can't hear me right now, I'm going to be a little louder. Sexual relationship between the husband and the wife or someone about to get married and how, uh, you know, how intimacy works between those two people. That's going to be for an older, mature audience. So stay tuned for that. Also, a third bonus announcement. I went to the Dawah, pa uh, Dawah Men podcast yesterday. We filmed it yesterday and bro, it got heated. I did not expect it to be that way. And me and this guy fought on that podcast. Stay tuned. That's going to be out next Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, that, that's basically uh, the announcements. Now let's jump into this video. All right, so um, basically, my man Dawood Kim, good brother, good man. That's why the video is called, the title of this video is called Dawood Kim is a good man. Because honestly, hearing him and his apology, I think he's done. Hearing him and his apology and how he is as a person and what he did, excuse me, what he did in the past and how he is as a person now was heartwarming to see. But honestly, just seeing him cry and getting emotional made me upset. So I want to do something to, before I talk about this video and talk about him, to put a smile on his face and your face as well. Let me, let me try to do this right now. Let me, let me try to do this. I think this is so much more better, don't you think? MashaAllah, my, my entire goal was to make brother Daoud Kim smile. I got to take this off my face for a second because I can't see actually. Um, and just seeing him and how he was in that video really broke my heart because he looks like such a fun person, a, a, a charismatic person, a happy person. And just listening and watching that video broke my heart because you could hear the remorse in his voice. And if you haven't seen the video, it's, it's okay. I'm explaining about it. You see, if you haven't been through that lifestyle, you would not understand what my bro Dawood Kim is going through. You see, people who come from this Jahiliya lifestyle have to live with the price of Jahiliya. You see, the things that he is accused of doing and has admitted to be doing, that's the cost of Jahiliya. That's what you guys don't understand. Jahiliya comes with a price. And the price is usually things like this. I remember the cost of one of my Jahiliya episodes was a scare that this girl might be pregnant. That's all a part of the cost of Jahiliya. But the real, true people who are the highest of levels in paradise and the ones who are honored the most and the best of the sinners are those who repent for their sins. 
Now I want to leave this advice for my bro Dawood Kim because honestly he looks like such a good brother mashallah and you could just tell the sincerity in his voice. I want you Dawood to not think of this as a huge L that you caught in your life. Yes, be regretful, be remorseful for your actions and how you've done it. Sexual assault and sexual harassment is a true and real thing that happens in our society. A lot of men don't understand what no means no. Obviously, this explains why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to stay away from haram, haram relationships, alcohol, zina. Why? Because these pr things come with its own sets of problems. The problem that this alcohol has that you can't control your nafs, you blacked out, my guy. That's what, No one should ever black out, you know, but alcohol caused you to do that. That's the thing. These things come with a price, with a cost. Hey, John, you have to go inside. All these things come with a price. All of these things come with a cost. And you're paying the price for jahiliyyah. But alhamdulillah for this action. Alhamdulillah for this action. Before I say that, just a quick reminder out there. This is the reason that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want haram relationships and all these things outside of wedlock. Why? Because the problem is that you can actually try to sleep with a woman. You could try and you might think it's consensual. But the truth is that you might have convinced her more than she wanted to do it. You might have convinced her to have sex with you. And because of that, that is actually considered a type of rape. Some women would consider that to be a rape. We, when we think of rape, we think of being pinned down to the ground and, you know, just having our way with them. But some might consider rape to be a way that you manipulated a person to have sexual relations with you. And we got to be careful with this. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to stay completely away from from zina. These are all the prices and the cost for haram relationships in Jahiliyyah. If you're wondering, SQ, why are you wearing this Olaf costume? Just letting you know, this is an announcement for our pretend play thing and to put a smile on Brother Dawood Kim's face. MashaAllah, he was so upset. I wanted to put a smile on his face and preview my pretend play. Remember, I'm starting a pretend play channel with my children, inshallah. And uh, it's going to be Islamic content strictly for children, inshallah, where they get their Islamic identities and help them influence and uh, make other children who are Muslims into leaders, inshallah. But I want, to, I want to give you a message of hope, my bro, Dawood. A message of hope. Alhamdulillah for this mistake. Why? Because without this mistake, you would never have discovered or accepted Islam. You felt so bad and humiliated for your act and for your deed that this directly led you to Islam. What a better ni'mah than this. Yes, it's unfortunate that you had to go through that and hurt and harm a sister in that process. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her, guide her, and grant her the highest levels of paradise. Ameen. But without this mistake, without this incident, you would never have discovered Islam. So alhamdulillah for that. Same thing with me. I had to go through so much hell in order to find Islam. And you went through that as well. But I want to let you know something, bro. And all those who are watching who could vibe to this and who can relate to this entire thing that myself and Daoud has been through. That there's a messenger who's been through something like what we have as well. And his name is Musa alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam killed a man. Try to understand this. Musa alayhi salam killed another human being. He got exiled and basically had to flee from Egypt to Madian. And he was a refugee. There was a bounty on his head. Let me put my Olaf back there. I won't keep it like this. There was a bounty on his head. And imagine how Musa alayhi salam felt. He killed the person. He did seek Allah's forgiveness. And then that same verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala immediately forgave him. But he still had to be wandering away from Egypt, trying to figure out his purpose. Who is he? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a family, gave him shelter, found a new way of living, improved his life, chained his life, and then called him into the Mount of Tuwa. In the mountain, he found guidance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to him, Surah Taha, and then he sends him back to Egypt to speak to Fir'aun. Without that instant of him killing someone, doing this heinous crime, this evil crime, without him doing that, he would never have been set on his journey. So those of us out there who have done or committed a horrible act, a terrible act, just know that's all a part of your journey. And you might have to pay for that jahiliyyah, that mistake, that sin in this dunya, just so you could be forgiven in the akhirah. You might have to go through, you know, financial repercussions, legal repercussions, because of your mistakes, because of your sins. But just know that's all 
purging you and cleansing you from the true mistake and truly being punished on the day of judgment. So anyone who's stuck out there, maybe in a court case, maybe you've done something before Islam or before you were practicing Islam that you're stuck in right now, just know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you. And the guilt from doing that act has caused you and propelled you to become closer to Allah and a better Muslim. So Alhamdulillah for our mistakes. Let's not hang our heads over our mistakes. I think that the background is too noisy, I'm sorry. Let's not hang our heads over the mistakes that we've made and the errors that we've made and understand that that's all a part of Allah's plan to help us draw closest to Him. So if our mistakes, our sins, our errors have caused us to propel and draw closest to Allah, wallahi, it was the greatest mistakes we could ever make in our lives. So all of those out there who've made those mistakes similar to me, similar to Brother Daud, just know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can forgive you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven you. And now it's time for you to really change your life and turn your life around. And to my brother Daud Kim, I love you for the sake of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to increase you and bless you, my bro. You're such a good person. You're such a good human. That doesn't reflect who you were, but this is developing you into who you are right now. And that helped you become the man that you are today. And Daud Kim, you are a good man. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and allow you to never forget that. For all of us out there who have been harmed or hurt and realize that we have some pain, these mistakes and sins are blessings and guidance from Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all, guide us all. That YouTube channel is coming soon. Stay tuned. Love you all for the sake of Allah. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, they're right over here. One's best for viewer. One is a most recent video. Watch them. They're pretty good. Uh, and uh, yeah, until next time, I'm out.